What's the date today? I don't know why I start every video telling you what date it is because it's completely irrelevant because by the time you're watching it, it's the day after. So forget I just said today is. Today is the last day of the Christmas holidays. I am so, so sad. I always feel like this when the girls are going back to school because <clears throat> I love them being at home so much. I love playing with all the toys and everyone being around the house and it just being a really nice homely atmosphere. And now they have to go back to school and not only that, but homework and spellings and reading and dance classes and swimming lessons. And it's just hectic. It's just hectic, busy family life that I haven't missed these last couple of weeks. The girls slept over at their, oh, say enough. So let me put my seatbelt on properly. The girls slept over at their Auntie Jane's last night. They had their little sleepover, which they were so excited about. They always tend to do that at Christmas time. They go to their Auntie Jane's and have a sleepover and they absolutely love it. So they did that last night. They're getting dropped back off home at around 3, 3 p.m. It's just coming up to 11 a.m. right now. Me and Chris just got up this morning, had showers and got ready. Chris started editing last night's vlog and then he's going to work in an hour but just before he goes to work we are nipping out to get Isla a new school cardigan I know we've left it pretty much right till the very last minute we did try to go yesterday but we forgot it was a bank holiday and the shop was closed Isla needs a new school cardigan because she lost hers at school before they broke up so we're going to buy her a new school cardigan right now then we're going to call at the supermarket because I want my new year's day dinner that I've still not had. <laughs> so we're going to have a nice family dinner this evening as kind of a last Christmas big meal. So we're calling to a supermarket, going to get Isla a new cardigan. Chris is going to work. I've got three hours on my own. Isla's got a new cardigan and we're just stopping off at Morrison's now to get in our Christmas dinner. I wonder if we're going to see any of you today. Seems to always see a subscriber in Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> the iFam love Morrison's. Yeah. Seeing a family love Morrison's. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, so nice and warm in here. It is freezing and windy outside today, guys. Let's go get a big dinner. Yeah, let's go do it. All right, guys, this is the big question. Will they sell pigs in blankets when it's not Christmas time? I'm on the fresh meat aisle right now, on the hunt for pigs in blankets. What do we think? I don't know. Not looking too promising either. The thing is as well, I don't really want to ask someone that works here because I think that they'll think I'm a complete lunatic if I ask for pigs in blankets now when it's not Christmas. I'm cooking a Christmas dinner and it's the 3rd of January. Okay, mate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Found them. We've got them. Ta -ting. How many do we need? Five of us? What do you reckon? 24? 36. 36. I love pigs in blankets. You can't beat them. No, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? 24. 24 will do. Okay, apparently they don't have any turkeys at all. No fresh turkeys this time of year. But they have fresh chicken. So it's going to have to be fresh chicken, I think. So we can get a whole big one. <gasps> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now you're talking. What are we saying, guys? Large? Yeah. Medium, actually. Medium. Maybe that will be good enough. Mm. Large serves four to five. Medium serves three to four. But Isla and Esme probably won't eat a massive amount of chicken. But there's always pretty, I guess, as well. Let's go for a large. Okay, change my mind. I've just seen these. So we're going to go for one of these chicken in a bags. Look at this bad boy. Extra tasty. Cook in the bag, no mess, no fuss, no giblets. Nice, juicy. Chicken. Okay, so we got our chicken, we got our pigs in blankets, we got our stuffing, we got Yorkshire puddings, we got parsnips, we got veg, we got mash, Yorkshire puddings, we've got gravy, we've got a full Christmas dinner. Can't wait to finish work now tonight. It's gonna to be so, so nice. Last day of Christmas. Tomorrow the Christmas decorations are coming down. Everything's getting sorted out. So today we are splurging Christmas dinner, New Year's Day style, yeah! So Chris has just left for work. I am sat having a cup of tea in my Aurora mug. 
that I got from Disneyland Paris. I've just put our shopping away. I'm so excited for tea tonight. <laughs> I love Christmas day dinners so much. Like we often have a Sunday dinner, but that's not the same. That's just like a meat, a veg, and some Yorkshire puddings and things. But Christmas day dinner, you get all the little extra things like pigs in blankets and parsnip and things like that that we wouldn't usually have. So I'm so excited for tea tonight. Although I'm not really looking forward to cooking it. However, how cool was that chicken in a bag? I think that's such an awesome idea. It only takes, I think it said an hour and a half to cook. We've never ever had one of those before. And I'm just, I just have a feeling I'm going to love it. It's just a chicken in a bag. You don't have to touch anything. The main, if you know me or you watch our channel, you'll know that I hate touching raw meat. Like, just all the slimy oof, bits i just don't like it um and this is amazing you literally just put the bag in the oven so just like it is you don't have to pierce it you don't have to take it out you don't have to touch anything pop it straight in the oven that's easy cooking the house is literally silent right now it feels really really weird i've had such an awesome chaotic christmas it's been amazing but it's been loud and suddenly I'm sat here in the house on my own. Chris is at work, the girls are at their sleepover. There's no noise at all. It's just pure silent. I can't decide if I like it. <laughs> I was quite nice for the first couple of minutes and now I'm a bit like, I'm a bit bored. <laughs> I'll be so sad tomorrow when the girls go back to school. Luckily, Chris is off of work for the next two days. So he will be here to help me take down all the Christmas things. Chris is like a dab hand at cleaning. He's amazing and he's way better at cleaning than me. And he, t he seems to take that role of making sure everything's clean and tidy. Um, so I'm really glad that he's home tomorrow and he's really glad because he won't leave it to me to do. He'll just come home and do it again, make sure it's done to his standard. But yeah, he's off tomorrow, so we're going to, I think, take down all of our Christmas decorations, which makes me so sad. Look how pretty my Christmas tree is, and it's going to be gone for a whole year. And then our candles that we've not actually lit up this year, they do light up. Mr. Frosty. And then the new addition this year was this beautiful twinkly light but I actually think I'm keeping that up that's not Christmas that's just prettiness for all year round definitely <laughs> I absolutely hate in January when you take all your Christmas trimmings down and all of a sudden your house just looks so bare I hate it it takes me ages to get used to it again and I just don't like it at all <laughs> right then look who's home everybody and obviously Isabel too yeah. but whilst she's occupied these two little munchkets want to open their hamsters in a house sets yeah. that they got for Christmas yeah. look how many sets you've got you've already opened one yeah. and these are what we've got left still to open we have the big supermarket and the big house plus a couple of little sets yeah. are you eating mini cheddars Isla did you have a good time at Auntie Jane's sleepover yeah. How much fun was it? Ali, it was your first one. Leah is really kind. Your cousin Leah, do you love her? Isla just said, I can't believe Leah's gone home. I miss her. I know, I do. I do. Aww. But you had fun? Yeah, I had very much fun. Okay, and as it's back to school tomorrow... Yeah, we can bring some toys. We're going to get these toys out now. Yeah. Okay, we've built them. Here yep. is the supermarket set. Here is the house set. Yep. And then we have a couple more little huts. This house set does take batteries. I think it makes noises Watch. when they go on the bed or the toilet. Watch. Go on a bit slow on the toilet. Oh, it's got to the tills. Can I have babies, please? Let's show what it does in the house. So this is what it does in the house. Go in the elevator. Stay in there. Oh, you can help. All the way up. Pop. And then he jumps off. Whee! Uh. 
sometimes get a bit stuck, don't they? Yeah. Find it out. <laughs> Look at the wheel! <laughs> He's in his wheel running around. Take him out. Okay, watch. Wait, it's automatic! I know. So if we put him up here, <gasps> when he turns around, we can move this and want, guide him which I way want to go. To move the toilet. And then when he gets on here. Come on. On the toilet. Come on, there we go. Oh, you fell off. <laughs> oh, there we go. Off we go. <laughs> Other Why way. Other way. There we go. Turn it round. Oh, set him the wrong way. Look! Stuck there again. Look! I never, I never, I never, I never, I saw the book, I saw the book. So guys, I'm just home from work. It's a little after six and it is officially the Ingham family New Year's Day dinner in our house right now. Sarah's been slaving away all day to bring us some gorgeous Christmas dinner. Check this out, guys. My wife is an absolute legend. Time in the Ingham household. Everyone is just getting down for bed, mm -hmm. sleepy heads, because it's school in the morning again. Yeah, and I get to tell my friend about my trip. About your trip? Yeah. To to and to Jane's house. And to Disneyland, remember? They haven't. You haven't what? even been at school since Disneyland. They know. They know. They know. What I've been telling them. Oh, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell them about all your Christmas as well? Yeah. And what Santa brought you? Yeah. You're very excited to see your friends? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Aww. Our Christmas holidays have gone so fast, haven't they? Yeah. And now it's all back to school and back to normal. Right, you. I love you. You have a wonderful okay. night's sleep, okay? Okay. And now we'll see you in the morning. Okay. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. <laughs> I love you, darling. Sleep tight, okay? No, no, baby. No. You ready to blow your lights out? Yeah. <gasps> Sit up. That was rubbish. <gasps> no, that was rubbish. <gasps> Try harder. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, you didn't do it. <laughs> Try really, really hard. Yay! Oh, no, one's come back on again. No, that's not going to work. Oh dear. <laughs> try really hard. I will try with you. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Hello, Whoopi. <laughs> Hello, Prinny. You chilling on my chest? Good girl. This is the face of a tired dog, guys. Look at her sleepy eyes. You so tired, Prinny? You've had a busy day. I cannot cope with that noise. <laughs> I actually can't cope with that noise. Sarah can't deal with the noise that Prinny's making. Do you want mummy? <gasps> what did you say, Brinny? Do you want mummy? <gasps> <laughs> you keep making that noise down, it's all good. So guys, everyone is in bed, fast asleep, and Sarah and I are about to sit down with a nice, juicy, hot cup of tea, and our brand new series that we've just got into. Oh my gosh, we're so rock and roll. Yeah, 
<laughs> Obviously. <laughs> We've just got into a really, really, really cool new series called Person of Interest. We're watching it on Netflix at the minute. We're and it's really, really cool. We're yeah. working our way for all your guys' recommendations. Exactly, yeah. We've got loads to watch now. <laughs> so this is one of the epic recommendations that we had and it's really, really good. So if you haven't checked it out, guys, get yourselves on Netflix and check out Person of Interest. So, us being the absolute rock stars that we are on... What night is it tonight? I don't know, it's back to school tomorrow. So. Yeah, on a Tuesday night and it's back to school, guys. So yeah, we are ultimate rock stars. It is after nine o'clock and we're staying up watching Netflix. It's actually nine minutes past ten <gasps> on a school night and we're just starting a show. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to hit down with some person of interest. We've got a little Prinny chilling on the end of our bed making this really random annoying. noise right now. It's not a random noise, babe. It's a straight up annoying. Oh, That's exactly what she's doing. She, she literally won't pack it in tonight. She's had like a big chicken dinner and she's giving it this. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> cannot do with that noise. Penny, what are you doing? I can't cope with my children doing it. I can't cope with the dog doing it. <sighs> Guys, what on earth is wrong with this? I mean... Do you know you've had so many requests to cut your hair off? 200,000 subscribers. Listen, guys. Why doesn't Chris cut his hair off? To listen, guys. <laughs> listen, right. No joke, a word of a lie. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm calling up the hairdressers and I'm booking myself in. Because I always do this. I get my hair cut. I love it for a bit. And then... I start thinking, mm, mm. No. but I never get, but I'm, I, I'm too, literally, I always feel too busy to get to the hairdressers. It's always like one of them jobs where I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll put it off again and again and again. And I put it off that much that all of a sudden my hair's like, like this. That. My hair's like this. And it's just like, I can eat my own fringe. Oh, good luck. That's how long it is. What is with, what, what even is this? I have no idea. Tomorrow morning I'm booking myself into the hairdressers and I'm going to look really, really, really good, fresh, clean, back to looking gorgeous again. <laughs> Promise. What are you laughing at? Time for Netflix. We'll see you in an hour. That was a very, very good episode of Point of Interest. I won't tell you the full idea of the plot, won't tell you all, but it's very, very good. And if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check it out. It's basically kind of like a a mystery, thriller, like, suspense type of a series. I think you just said Spence. Spence? Spence type series. Suspense <laughs> type series. It's very, very good. It's kind of like... Just go and check it out. That's the best way of me to tell you. Go check it out. It's really, really good. Anyway, it's just a little after 11 o'clock. And it's time to stay in the night, guys. This is it. This is us signing out for today. I'm going downstairs, I'm going to start editing today's video and Sarah's going to sleep over there because she's tired yeah. Prinny's going to sleep over here because she already is asleep and she's tired I'm off for the next two days, I'm really excited about that We're going to be super busy tomorrow, we've got like a entire house to de christmas -fy. Is that even a word? <laughs> is that even a word? No Let's make that a thing, we're going to de christmas -fy tomorrow Everything's coming down and going away Getting this place ship shape, ready for a new year, new start, and all that jazz. I've got some skating tomorrow night going on. Got loads of stuff happening. So yeah, busy, busy day tomorrow. I've also got to get up at 7.15 for school. It is no more of this holiday business lying in when I'm not at work. It's back to the school run. Hardcore. 7.15 starts. Tired girls and all that. But I'm really looking forward to it. New start tomorrow, healthy start. Back onto the healthy meals. New healthy fresh diets. Sarah's going to talk to you guys a lot about that. I think tomorrow. She's got a lot of new, th lot of cool things to talk to you about to do with that. She's starting a few new things for the new year, but I'm going to leave her to tell you that tomorrow. She's currently replying to your comments right now before she goes to bed. Her little nightly routine. So, guys, we hope you've had a wicked day, whatever you're getting up to tonight, and you are currently having an amazing time watching this video. We love you all so much, and we will see you all tomorrow at six o'clock. Till then guys, night night, bye.